If you're looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and their coins are currently discounted a ton. Make sure to take advantage and use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today I'm going to go over what you need to be doing right now in Madden 21 Ultimate Team. Now, guys, the issue is there's a few things that are vital to be done today that if you miss out on today, it's going to either set you back or really just limit you for the rest of the... I'll go over the reasoning. You guys will understand in just a second. Well, first, shout out today to Andrew Hardy for being a part of Poodle Squad, man. Thank you so much for showing support. Really appreciate you commenting and letting us know you are a part of the Poodle Squad. Now, guys, if you want a chance to shout it out, if you like the video, turn on that notification bell, boys. Comment down below, Poodle Squad, and, of course, subscribe to the channel. Now, guys, about it for that. Let's get into this. What do you need to be doing right now in Madden 21? Now, there's a few things. A lot of it's solo-related. Some of it's some, some Twitch stuff here, too, as well. I'll be going over this. Because the thing with some of these things here, with the way Madden has set us up this year or in past years of doing continuous week level stuff where you have to keep doing it to get a certain reward, just missing one week could either set you back or really just ruin the reasoning for doing it. Now, starting off with the first thing I want to go over real quick, which I'm going to mention in my other video as well because it's super important, Derwin James versus the world. Make sure tomorrow night, Tuesday at 8pm, you do watch your final hour of that. That will be the final token you do need to finish this, which will give you... A free 90 overall Jalen Ramsey, Nick Chubb, or Keenan Allen. I'll show you the set for all you guys confused now. If you're not there yet, you could still finish it. So make sure you still don't miss tomorrow night. Because, of course, if you miss tomorrow night, you set yourself further back. And you are going to get a free 97 Derwin James later in the year as we do get all these done. So make sure you do keep doing these. So Jalen Ramsey, 90 overall. All it takes is five crown tokens. Now, I already have four. I do get my fifth one tomorrow night, uh, Tuesday, 8 p.m. All you can do is watch an hour of it. So make sure you're getting that done. Now, of course, you could get Nick Chubb, which... I don't think he'll be worth it, or you could get Keenan Allen, which I definitely don't think he'll be worth it. Now, could Nick Chubb be worth it? He'd have to have like a 90-91 speed and be power upable, which I believe he is power upable, so he has to have the 90-91 speed. Now, on the other hand, though, I think Jalen Ramsey is going to be the move. I think he's going to be the best player there by by a long shot. He hopefully should have like an 89 speed. I uh, power up getting to a 90. You can only hope though, right? But moving on from that, guys, again, you can choose whoever you want, but just make sure you're getting this done. You don't want a free 90 Jalen Ramsey. I'll be one of the best. I'll probably be one of the best players on your team. That is a crazy good, it's going to be a crazy good card in terms of just the value you're getting from being free. And guys, it, it didn't even take five weeks. It should have taken five weeks, but they gave us a welcome pack. And one of the weeks was kind of glitched. So they just gave us an extra token. So I ended up with, I ended up with four tokens in two weeks. I honestly, and no, one week because I started Tuesday. And then a week from Tuesday, it's just still one week. So in one week, I already had four. So this is going to be the second week total and i'm gonna have all five which is not a bad value at all now the next ones might take a bit longer but again i don't care for the next ones as much the ones i really want the one i want to play with is Jalen. the other ones are just to complete the the um the derwin james stuff and moving on next guys which so i'm gonna be getting done today as well i typically do these um i'm a crap procrastinator i usually do these the day before uh and that's going to be the team of the week solo make sure you are going ahead and playing your week two team of the week solo it does end tomorrow morning at 10 30 eastern time now remember if you already missed week one, that's fine. You can miss up to, I believe, three weeks. But do not miss this week. I'm telling you, you do not want to get behind in the count early. Trust me. I, I've been the guy before that's like, oh, okay, I missed the first three weeks. I'll, I'll just finish it from here. Trust me, it's not It's not true because watch this. By, by, by week like eight, what are we? By what, What's five weeks from now? Oh, it's week three. Yeah, five weeks from now or even seven weeks from now. Seven weeks from now, we're going towards, you know, Thanksgiving. We're, we're in the holiday season, and then you're still focused on family and seeing people that you missed that week. All right, that's fine. You have one, you, that's, that's your final week. And then a few weeks later, week 12 ish, we're around Christmas. Week 9 ish, you know, that little area, whatever week it is, we're in the Christmas season. Then you, you go away or whatever whatever you're doing, trust me, I, I'm the guy that says it, and then I end up not being around for Christmas or Thanksgiving. Or that one week that you're just bored of Madden because nothing's been out, so you just don't play that week, and you're just like, ah, oh, I'll come back when content's out. And you missed that week as well. So you missed these three weeks. If you missed these first two weeks, you're almost guaranteed to not get your free team of the year player. Trust me. Make sure you're getting these done. And then later in the year, you can be like, okay, I don't need to do this week or I'm not going to be home. I don't got to rush home from Xbox today or PS4. Trust me. Do not be the guy that skips them now. Get them done. I'll probably play mine tonight or after this video, depending on my time schedule today. And of course, you get some nap plays. You want to go ahead and do all these. But I mean, I just care about the token, which for the token, all you got to do is play the one solo and get one star. It's a full game, but all you really got to do is just run the ball, shoot clock out. Uh, it's really not bad. Now, I mean, by full game, it's, it's fourth quarter with 10 minutes remaining. But again, all you really have to do is just is just chew the clock out depending on the score. You're down by 15. You can score twice and then chew the clock out. It's really not that hard. The only issue is going to be sometimes they get annoying on defense and they somehow keep getting first downs on you. But 
with with the mechanics of you know being on easy difficulty you can typically just hit stick them and get the ball right back of course guys your legend token solos make sure you are getting those done as well you not want to be missing out on that as well now the legend one isn't as exciting to me as maybe the team of the year is because legend one could just be anyone at that point it could be a, it could be a 90 it could be a 91 uh, and at the time you're going to get it of course could really depend on whether or not it's really that worthwhile i really care about the team of the year more but the legend's still going to be cool of course guys make sure you're getting that done legend tokens are something you do not want to miss out on again it's just it's a free player make sure you get that does we got derwin with the legend token we got team of the week and i'm pretty sure that covers the solos you want to be focusing on now the nfl 50 is another one that's going to be giving you a free one so make sure you're playing weekly the 50 and the 50 solos i believe it came down to you end up getting like two free of these if you play all these solos and i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure they expire yeah they do expire a week so you have about four days from now to no about six days about six days from now to do it depending on how many days in this month i forget about six days and then you have to do the weekly ones of course and now if you don't do these you're going to be set behind and you may not even get the, the two free so make sure you're going ahead and going and getting this done because you will need those players to eventually get your two free the 50 players so th there's all your free player round up there make sure you're getting all that done once you do get all that done you're set from that standpoint so make sure you're doing that and then now you want to focus on the market a little bit guys the market's been in a weird state now I told you guys to buy a bunch of players and hopefully you did because I did and a lot of them went up so like I got Reggie Wayne for 145k on that crash and he's going for 220 so now is the time when I recommend you go through one by one and re really see what coin value you can make back right now so let's say 92 to 93 right let's say you picked up Vic for a snipe like 380 right now 410 is not a worthwhile value but maybe you see it go up later in the day to 470 maybe you sell them you come out with after reduction you come out with like a, a value about 40 to 50k extra same with Deion Sanders same with Barry Sanders. We got him for a decent price. Now, these are a bit cheap right now, so the 1993s aren't the best example of this. More so, in the 1993s, I would probably focus on buying. I would see if I could find a Vic for 380 or 420 and see if I could pick him up. Now, here's the ones you want to look at. We're like, okay, so TJ Watt at one point was like maybe 180. Maybe I could sell him for 245 now, make a quick buck. Uh, Walter Jones was like 215. Maybe I could sell him for 260 and make like, what, 30K after reduction? Really not bad at all. Bo Jackson was like, Bo Jackson at one point was like 200k, 199 flat. So maybe you could sell him for, you know, 249, make a quick 30k. I'm telling you guys, definitely be looking at the market right now and seeing what you can flip some cards for. Now, some of them with the NFL, the 50 players, which I told you would probably go down, so they weren't the best investments. Good to keep, but I don't think they were their guy. They weren't guys that were gonna make you coins or anything. Um, there's just a lot of guys here that I see that you could have probably made a ton of coins on if you really go ahead and sell them at a higher price right now. So just make sure you're checking out what your guys are worth. You know, just stay on top of the market and just understand where you're at. Some players you may have lost a bit, depending on like the 50 players, like I told you, because they were brand new. They were already overpriced to begin with. So maybe those guys go down a little bit and you don't make too much with them. But but the legends and a lot of these other cards that were out already, or some base elites, which I believe base elites took a massive hit, uh, or, or I mean went back up. Michael Thomas was going for like 55k at a point. I believe Stephen Gilmore was like 60k. I saw McCaffrey for like 60k. I got I picked up Zach Martin for 56k. Again, they're not the greatest values, but since there's not a, a big tax hit here, if you sell them for 90k, you're still going to make like 20, 30k off these guys each, which is similar to the profit you're making on Legends. So definitely just go ahead and make sure you're taking advantage of that. Go on over there and just, just be aware of what, you know, what you're doing right now. Lane Johnson, super, super cheap, great lineman to pick up. There's just a lot of good value right now. Make sure you're taking, taking a, ch a chance to just evaluate and just feel where your team's at and what you could really use right now. Especially a weekend league, once again, only being three days away. It feels like every day is weekend league, which I guess is kind of cool, but then kind of not. Depends on how, it depends on how, what your feelings are towards weekend league. But guys, about it for the video. Again, if you want a chance to be shouted out on the Poodle Squad, comment down below Poodle Squad, like the video, and be subscribed, turn on the noti bell. And that's about it, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. Hopefully, this video helped you out and reminded you to do some things that you might have forgotten about. Hopefully, make sure you're watching Derwin James versus the world tomorrow night at 8 p.m. That's about it, guys. If you need coins to pick up any players or do anything, head over to my reserve down below in the comment section. Uh, but you guys know in the description. And coins are currently like half off. You've used code pool to get an additional 15% off. Take advantage, pick up some cheap coins, and keep building your basketball, guys. I'm out. Peace.